I think you need to Will Smith, like Will Smith, slap yourself. Hey everybody, I'm Ray, and I'm Paul, and we are the Alchemists. And today we find a beer that pays tribute to a national wonder, a natural wonder, all the way up north, south of Sudbury. Ray, tell us about our beer. <laughs> Alrighty, so today we are drinking cup and saucer. English Ale from Manitoulin Brewery. These guys are located in Little Current, Ontario, which is just outside of Sudbury. It's an English Ale, comes in at 5% ABV, and I'm looking forward to this one. Let's crack this baby open, because as always, Ray... That guy's thirsty. Let's do it. I get a little fruitiness coming out of the can. That's darker than I expected. Yeah, it is dark. I like that color. This is very promising. A little bit of hops coming out of it. A slight bit of breadiness as well tied yep. into that. Let's dig in and taste this guy. Let's try it out. Cheers. Cheers, Paul. And cheers, cheers everybody. everybody. But it's got a slight rye mm -hmm. taste to it. Absolutely. It's got that breadiness to it. It's got an aftertaste that kind of lingers, almost like a, a caramelly kind of lingering taste. Yeah, it's sweet. There's a there's a there's a sweetness there that I I'm actually enjoying and it's super smooth. I mean you could see in the pour it was fairly carbonated, really nice head, lots of lacing on the on the glass. So I think that kind of indicates it's slightly sweet. I know that's the case with a uh, with a wine. I almost want to say it's like a sweeter Rickard's red. Oh, that's a yeah Is yeah. It does have a, a bit of a reddish, ambery sort of coloring to it. So. The can art is kind of cool. You know, you look at it, cup and saucer is what really caught our eye. Absolutely. Uh, we didn't know what it was. Evidently, cup and saucer is a landmark. Yeah, it's a, it's a trail system. The The cup and saucer trail, it's uh, uh, at the northern tip of the Niagara Escarpment, which is weird because, I mean, we're in Niagara and this is like Sudbury. Like, that's a, that's a like six to eight hour drive depending on the weather. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a hiker's haven apparently. And... Um, I don't get the cup and saucer connection to the taste of the beer. Why is it cup and saucer, but it's an English ale? Is it because there's cliffs and bluffs in England? Uh, well, cup and saucer is the... English tea. Oh. Cup and saucer? Cup and saucer, English tea, <laughs> English ale. Bam! Solved! Or not. Um, we've got family in Sudbury, so I've got a feeling if I get up there again soon, I may take a trip over just to check out the brewery. And just for clarification, we don't have family in Sudbury. I said I hey. got some family up there. Um, we've got family in Sudbury. Where's Harry the whale? Oh, he's on the opposite wall. Yeah, he's all, over there today. Where all the alcohol is. Yeah, I forgot to put stuff back there today. It's kind of bland. It is very bland. Uh, I wasn't thinking about it. Ray drank a lot of the alcohol that was on the back shelf. Do you want to see them? No, they're two by eights. Your house is built around the same time my house. You want to see my? You want to see my floor, guys? They're two by eights. I see it. Two by eight. Well, f me over. <laughs> Ladies, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Because, well, male patent baldness. Run. It's fine, but I'm still not trying to grow hair. I just shave it. I'm okay with that. How can you be okay with that? Oh, okay. I can see how you're okay with that. 100%. I think it is time for the chug. I think you need to explain this as if you were a hiker lost in the woods and go. Help! Help! Hey, you guys! Anyways, I'll count down from three to one. And I'll say go, then we're gonna check the beer. Anyways, three, two, one, go. Bullshit. Okay, so I don't care if I get rescued because I just checked a beer. I hope you get eaten by wolves, Ray. <laughs> hope you get eaten by wolves. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness gracious i'm gonna say right off the bat here not my most favorite beer it's just that sweetness at the end that really throws me off i like the initial taste it was fantastic it, it did really remind me of an english ale that sweetness really overpowers the taste of this beer if i'm gonna buy this 
I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to take a can. I can't have any more than that. I actually like it. I like the rye flavor um, that I'm getting off this. I don't like it as a chugging beer. Absolutely not. I think this is a six pack for me, for sure. Manitoulin Island, welcome to our list. Definitely a place we would like to visit. And with that being said, I'm Paul. And I'm Ray. And we are the Alconauts. Cheers, all. Take care.